morning to you. It is 5.30 here on your Tuesday. I'm Monsieur O'Malley with Chet Lehman. Our top story for you now, the star witness against former Trump campaign Chairman Paul Manafort has admitted to embezzling from him. And as CBS News correspondent Laura Podesta reports, Rick Gates expected to be back in court today with more details on how he and Manafort committed crimes together. Today, Rick Gates is expected to continue his testimony against Paul Manafort, the former chairman of President Trump's 2016 campaign. Special counsel Robert Mueller charged Manafort and his former associate Gates with dozens of counts related to their lobbying efforts on behalf of foreign governments. But yesterday, Gates flipped on his former boss in exchange for leniency. Prosecutors quickly got to the heart of the case. Did you commit crimes with Mr. Manafort, asked the prosecutor. Yes, Gates replied. Gates said he conspired with Manafort to falsify tax returns, knowingly failed to report foreign bank accounts, and failed to register Manafort as a foreign agent. Gates also admitted he embezzled from his boss. I added money to expense reports and created expense reports that were not accurate, he said, to pad his salary by several hundred thousand dollars. No chance. Last month, the attorney for Manafort, Kevin Downing, told reporters there's no chance his client will cooperate or reach a plea deal with prosecutors. So far this week, there's been no mention of President Trump or his campaign in court. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. Now we're told the White House says the president feels his former campaign chair not being given a fair shake. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said the president has made clear he believes Mr. Manafort has been treated unfairly. That trial continues today. More on the CBS Evening News tonight. There you go.